Do you know if having less rotis and adding dahi and salad actually helps in reducing the sugar spike? Let's find out. In this meal, I've reduced the number of rotis from 4 to 2, kept arad ki dal and besan ke tinde the same and added 150 grams dahi and added one plate salad with only salt and lemon on it. This entire meal is around 700 calories. Let's see if the result is as good as when I added eggs and paneer. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. Only 25 mg increase. This is a hat trick of good news because for comparison, when I had the 4 roti meal, my blood sugar levels had increased by 41 mg. This is 40% lesser. Clearly the dahi and the salad worked very well together because dahi added much needed protein to the meal, equivalent to about one medium egg, quite a bit. And salad added much needed fiber to the meal, creating almost like a physical barrier, slowing down the release of glucose into the bloodstream. Of course, when I added paneer to the meal, the sugar spike was a little lower at 22 mg. And when I added two eggs, the result was a little lower than that also at 20 mg. This probably happened because both of them had a little more proteins and fats compared to dahi and salad. My key learning in this series has been that changing the meal composition can actually lead to a drastic reduction in blood sugar levels. But for that to happen, I can't just reduce the number of rotis and have more dal and sabzi. I need to include an additional protein and a fat source. 